On this episode of Sloan's Wilderness Expeditions, we take advantage of an unusually warm November weekend to hike in Kentucky's Red River Gorge, looking for waterfalls, rock shelters, and arches in the Clifty Wilderness. Please give a like and subscribe and join us for this wilderness adventure. The Red River Gorge Geological Area is located in eastern Kentucky and is part of the Daniel Boone National Forest. It encompasses more than 29,000 acres, with more than 13,000 acres of that as designated wilderness. This is where our weekend adventures lie, within the Clifty Wilderness, starting from the Rock Bridge Picnic Area where we descend into the Swift Camp Creek Watershed. So it is an unusually warm weekend in November. So we thought we would take advantage of it, get back down here into Kentucky and uh, do a, one more great hike and adventure here in, in our favorite place. But that also means a lot of other people had the same idea. And it's very, very busy. So while Creation Falls isn't one of the biggest waterfalls you've ever seen, it is definitely one of the most iconic here in Red River Gorge. It's the one true bridge here in Red River Gorge, Rock Bridge, over Swift Camp Creek. We thought about going up and climbing on this, but there's already a bunch of people climbing across it, so we'll let them have their fun and we're going to move on. We're now off of the Rock Bridge Trail and onto the Swift Camp Creek Trail here in Clifty Wilderness. This is where the trail gets a little more, um, a little rougher, usually a lot of blowdowns. And we're just going to see how far we make it and see what we can find on the way. You can't really see it through all the rhododendron, but directly below us here is an area of the creek known as Hell's Kitchen. And if you ever get down there to walk the creek, it's a lot like Zion National Park's the subway. Their subway section of the Narrows. And that is a lot like what we are walking right above right now. What did you find there, catfish? Some really weird moss or something. Yeah, it's definitely weird looking, isn't it? Yeah. Even on the busiest weekends here in Red River Gorge, all you have to do is get away from the main trails a little bit and you escape the crowds where you can find some solitude, huh, catfish? Yeah. It's views like this that is why I love the gorge so much. So we're to a spot above the creek right now, an area known as Pooh's Turtle Falls. Usually you can't hardly see it here, but we're going to just see if we can get a peek. So here's the little creek that is responsible for Pooh's Turtle Falls. You can kind of see where it goes off the edge. All right, we are going to veer off the, uh, the uh, Swift Camp Creek Trail here real quick and go off trailing a bit, see if we can't find an arch. 
there's really no trail in this area. I just know we go up. <laughs> well, we're on top. All right. We got to go up this rock. Yep. I'm telling you, he's a mountain goat. I think we found it. Uh, I think we found it, catfish. That's pretty wild. There it is, catfish. Yep. Who's turtleback arch? Look at these iron formations sticking out of the rock. They're all kind of the same shape and all spaced out almost evenly. That's really weird. Maybe it's aliens. Do 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 do. Some pretty wild formations under here. Alright, we're now up on top of the arch. Yeah. Oh, nice view. Yeah. This looks like a good little spot for a break, catfish. Yeah, it does. Alright. Well, fellow expeditionists, uh, we're just kind of relaxing here. Um, I tell you what, the, the sunset snuck up on us. It gets uh, sunsets like at 5:30 p.m., so that's way earlier than what we've been used to doing our yeah. backpacking and such. So we had to quickly find us a camp and get set up, and uh, just been chilling out ever since, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. What did you think about today's adventure? I thought it was pretty cool. Though a lot of people towards the beginning but as we got away from the easy parts of the trail it became less populated the turtle back arch was pretty cool with the formations yeah a lot of really neat erosion formations on that wasn't there yeah now, i really like the uh the rock bridge too it's just it's unique because it's it's not just your typical arch you find that's just eroded it's an actual rock arch across the creek that's almost feels out of place the way it's made, doesn't it? Yeah. But really unique and neat. Yeah, I really enjoyed today's hike, and of course, Swift Camp Creek is always just one of the most beautiful creeks around here. Yeah. We really need to come down here one of these days and just hike up that creek, don't we? We do. Yep. Well, we are going to probably uh, pass out here pretty soon and uh, see what tomorrow brings us. So, until then, peace, peace out. out.